What you're listening to right now is some original music that I have produced, and I'm listening to it on these ultra near field studio monitors from a company called Cali Audio. Hi, folks, it's Andy Barrar. Handy Andy, back at it. It's been a minute, and I'm back to do a review of what really got me excited about technology in the first place, and that was music production. So we're looking at the Cali Audio INUNF Ultra Near Field Studio Monitors. And what makes this different from anything else is the fact that it's the ultra near field. What that means is that you can mix music in a really tight setup, just a desktop setup like I have over here. So let's go ahead and get right into this review. Folks, you know how we do. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready. Cue the intro. So let's go ahead and start with the design of the INUNF Ultra Near Field Studio Monitoring System. It's really composed out of three units. You got a base station or a base unit and these two satellite speakers. And that's pretty much it. Now, it's really designed to sit on your desk about 0.8 meters away, which is about an arm's length away. And that's pretty interesting because if you go to audio engineering school or you go to a professional mixing studio, you'll notice that the monitors are actually quite far apart and then the person has to be sitting right in center. With these ultra near field, that really changes the game because you can essentially create music in your bedroom and mix that music in your bedroom, export that, do everything inside of your home studio. And that's what makes this a really appealing type of system for someone like myself because that's what I would want to do. I don't want to go to a to a full-on studio if I just want to make the mixes, make it good enough for online audiences. Now, the base unit can has really two ways. It's quite modular. You can have it set up vertically or horizontally and have things like a laptop sit right on top of it. The On each side of the base unit, you have these horizontally opposed um, speakers. What's interesting is there is no vibrations with that type of design. So if you have your laptop or say a monitor sitting on top of the base unit, you're not going to see any kind of vibrations. And I have to say, trying it out, it was pretty amazing. You still get lots of low end, you know, that wide frequency response, but you don't get that vibrations. And that's the first time I've ever seen that on a base station. What's really cool is that you could hook it up directly to a laptop without the need of an audio interface. So just USB-C into your laptop like I did and my laptop instantly recognized it. So the fact that you don't need an audio interface for this monitoring system is really a first for me. I don't think I've ever, yeah, I don't think I've ever had monitors that didn't connect into an audio interface before connecting into a computer. Now let's talk about the satellite speakers themselves. They have this ball-shaped design and they feature a 4-inch mid-range and a 1-inch tweeter for each channel. It also sits in an inverted rubber puck stand. And that means that users can rotate and point the satellites into any direction, which really allows for easy adjustment to get that right stereo space during your mixing. Now in my setup, you could see it was a nice clean setup where you just have the two satellite speakers on either side of the desk and then the base unit in the center with the laptop on front. And this really is appealing because, you know, a lot of people are going to think they're studios or computer speakers, but they are far from that. They are professional monitoring with that neutral frequency response, that flat response, which really forces you as the mixer to make a good mix to make sure that everything sounds good. Because if you can make your mix good sound on these monitors, theoretically, they should sound good on almost any speaker, whether that's a smartphone, all the way up to like PA systems. You want to be able to mix on those kind of neutral flat monitoring speakers. That's really why they are neutral like that. Now, it's really the proof's in the pudding. And because of YouTube, they always flag like music for copyright. But your boy here has his own original music. So what I'm going to do is let you listen to the music yourself to see how it sounds. Now, the caveat is, of course, my camera, uh, we're, we're talking about the, the microphone on my camera. So it's not going to sound as good as, as if you were right there, but it's good enough. So let's go ahead and listen to some of that music.
from reviewing this monitoring system, it only reinforced my belief that monitors sound way better than any type of speaker. You know, I've spent so much time in studios mixing, uh, producing music, that I actually prefer monitors over traditional speakers. And after reviewing the Cali Audio INUNF Ultra Near Field Monitors, such a long name, after reviewing it, it just reinforced my love of monitoring. It's like my music sounded so good. You know, it brought like tingles on my back thinking about like when I first created this music and just how long it's been and how different of a guy I am that I don't like really make music again, but I still got the love for it. This monitoring system is definitely made for someone like me. If you're a bedroom producer, you know, as a video editor, I would use this to edit my videos. I think my mixes and my video would sound much better if I had this type of monitoring system. It's one of those products that, you know, it really hurts to, to give them back, to put it back in the box because I could probably use this and I would really do justice with this if I had it in this setup or in say a recording setup, but even just for editing videos, like I said, man, it hurts. It hurts to put this back away. So if you are a video editor, you are um, make music, or you're a budding pr producer, you make beats, you're gonna have to make a mix. And why go to a studio, a professional studio, when you can make that mix at home, right on your desk with the Cali Audio IN UNF Studio Monitoring Speakers. Really don't have much bad things to say other than it's expensive. And, you know, you, I guess you get what you pay for. Anyways, folks, I could just go on and on about music and music production. And I'm just a total gearhead, so I should probably stop right now. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, leave your comments below if you like my music or you want me to actually post this music. I think it's time, you know. It just sits up in a cloud or in a folder. Maybe I should... Uh, actually publish some of this music that's uh, kind of unfinished, but I guess it's finished enough. Anyways, folks, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.